नेक्स्ट फायर प्रोटेक्शन इक्विपमेंट वॉट एक्सप्लेन टिल नाउ रिलेटेड टू सिस्टम बट द सिस्टम सेट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट राइट सो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट इक्विपमेंट और कॉमनली यूज यू कैन फाइंड इन द लिस्ट लाइक स्प्रिंकलर फायर होजेस फायर होज रील एक्सेट्रा द सेम आई शो यू विद द पिक्चर्स बिकॉज हर माइंड वर्क ऑन इमेजेस दैट विल बी इजी फॉर यू टू रिकॉल हेर यू सी फर्स्ट इज अ स्प्रिंकलर दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन टाइप कॉल पेंडेंट and on screen this is recess pendant you'll find normal pendant recess pendant conceal upright open type etc the list of sprinklers with the different rfs size with the different k factor with the different uh, flow rate that we will find in nfpf 14 model when we deal with the topic called sprinkler at this level this is just a pendant type sprinkler pendant type recess type uh, pendant sprinkler and the different components of this sprinkler also we'll discuss in an fpa 13 okay next you see the list of sprinkler we'll discuss in an fpa 13 i'm not going to explain now right now next hose with nozzle you see this is a hose pipe canvas type one end will connect uh, is going to connect to the landing valve a special type of valve used in fire fighting landing valve or in some project say ball valve is a small project but as per standard one end should connect to the landing valve i'll show you what is landing valve in the next image next slide and the other end will connect to the nozzle which can be used to get the jet of water you uh, you can relate this many of you know this the yeah, jet yes. of water normally anyhow we will discuss in detail so is a canvas pipe and canvas pipe means we can call collapsible type you'll find the rubber type also that is non collapsible type next fire hose reel you see this this rubber type non collapsible type here the nozzle is connected the other end is connected to the ball valve in this case and this red color is called hose reel you know this you'll find in any mall or in many locations right next fire hose reel with a cabinet this is inside the cabinet next hose rack and for hose rack we cannot use the rubber type we can use only the canvas type so that it can be folded in the zigzag format in case of fire it can be easily to pull out so hose rack next alarm check valve this is also important you see the left side this portion can you read this tycho yeah uh, this complete assembly is called alarm check valve we'll discuss in detail in nfpa 13 okay this is for sprinkler here is a landing valve sorry this is a os and y gate valve we'll discuss this also here we have this uh, supervisory switch but this complete this one this assembly this we can call alarm check valve the different components and the purpose all we'll discuss uh, after completing this uh, zone control alarm zone uh, uh, this uh, zone control valve assembly next you see this is a preview of zone control valve assembly all this accessories together we can call zone control valve assembly this is for a purpose and on every floor you'll find this zone control valve assembly if the sprinkler less than 280 numbers if it is more than 280 numbers we require additional zone control valve also we'll discuss just this a preview for the component and in this zone control valve assembly this we can call os and y gate valve with the supervisory switch this is a pressure gauge here this is a pressure switch and uh, this is a drain valve test and drain valve okay so next you see the in the same in the same zone control valve assembly the same pressure switch the preview is here yes online yeah. pressure switch and flow switch are our components no different you will find near the pump next what is that used for sir like when you need more pressure it switch it switches it on or no you see at this level just have a look these are the component okay. these are the names okay. okay when we deal with the system then you can understand the purpose with the system okay okay uh, so <clears throat> flow switch is different and press uh, pressure switch is different hmm. flow switch you'll find uh, near the pump but the pressure switch you'll find at each a uh, zone control valve assembly the purpose i'll give you the idea the purpose of this whenever there is a uh, change in the pressure or when the flow start this will give the signal to the control system so that the control system can activate 
the equipments at this level you see the closer view of osny gate well why actually osny means outside screw and yoke yes. actually it's a gate valve normal gate valve but in firefighting we are using osny gate valve because outside yoke and screw will give you the advantage from outside just with the with the means from the outside without just with the visibility we can check whether it is in on or off position but how exactly i'll explain we have a separate topic for this at the time of uh, zone control valve assembly at this level this valve is called osny valve osny gate valve next this is called hydrant stand post type this is a concealed type hydrant in some location you'll find this concealed type hydrant landing valve this is one way landing valve you'll find in the staircase also generally and it's a part yeah. of uh, it's a part of it's a part of uh, stand pipe system class class 1 anyhow at present this is a landing valve and this is a two way landing valve next breaching inlet or fire brigade connection two way which is used to supply the water to the building from the fire fighter tanker this is two way here is a four way and below this this is for drain after controlling the fire next one more example of uh, breaching inlet which is used to supply the water from the fire tanker to the building which will this will find outside the building next pumps this is one pump set and this is a single pump you'll find uh, multiple pumps we have a but separate pump set but these are some accessories this accessories inlet accessories outlet accessories in detail we'll discuss in an fp 20 this is one example and you know this all the equipment related to the fire fighting is going to paint with what red color mm. red color do you know the reason yes sir yes is to allow red, red color is the uh, most visible in low light yeah it's a very contrast color and easy to identify so that's the reason we are considering this as a standard for the fire fighting so all the equipments even the portable fire extinguisher components even the sprinkler pipe they paint with the red even you see the panel also with the red so it indicate this related to the the fire Ha, other ops other technical reason also but most the the common reason is the red color is a very contrast color and easy to identify next fire blanket in some small project like a villa you can use this fire blanket this can be used it's a fire to wrap to control the supply of oxygen or to stop the supply of oxygen to control the fire are these made readily available just like this uh, ozrin sir Yes, but how is 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 ready made available, but not commonly used. In some special cases, only we will use. You will find this one. Next storage tank. Generally, uh, if you talk about firefighting tanks, you'll find the underground tank. Underground tank, as per NFP, underground tank. But if you are in India, NBC, as per NFP, over a tank also allowed. And uh, even you will find the tanks on the uh, ground level like this. so it can be underground tank or it can be ground level tank can be pre cast or fabricated tank or it can be um, like a uh, underground tank means um, this uh, concrete type so your raw tank point of view is to find out the capacity what will be the capacity in terms of gallons or liters and the accessories the construction of tank and all will take care or will be under uh, the civil scope next detector it uh, this detector means under detection system here one example of heat detector which is used to detect the heat similarly smoke detector used to detect the smoke in the same way you will find the beam detector type one type of detector which is also used to sense the smoke or a flame detector different types of detector that comes and they see detector and alarms ha huh. all comes under nfp 72 uh, fire alarm system so, so i think you come under uh, mechanical hmm? scope sir or 
do we have to coordinate with uh, see, electronics electrical engineer yeah good question and uh, i think you, uh, you remember in the previous session the electrical side of this detector comes under electrical the connection the panel connection the wiring and uh, the configuration of the panel all comes under electric or bms hmm. but the arrangement of this the location of this all comes under mechanical scope okay so in the syllabus also for this nfpa 72 uh, i'm going to cover the mechanical scope of this fire detection system not the electrical side okay so i think what the idea yeah.